Okay, year seven and eight. Right, this video is all about you guys looking at the features of the face and drawing those more accurately on top of the work that you had done last week. Again, if you hadn't done that last week, you can look at the work from uh, the video that I put on for feedback and use that just to help you get started and you should be able to catch up. So if you are watching this and you haven't watched the feedback video first, then I'd like you to do that to begin with, okay? Right, so with this, um, I just want you to kind of think about the features a little bit more closely. So when I set the piece of work where you had to look at the features independently and draw just an eye, a nose and a mouth, I thought you guys did really well with that. It becomes more difficult when you now have to put that in the context of a face. It becomes difficult because you have so much other things to think about. So because you've already done the proportions, you should now only be thinking about the shapes of the features. And in the video, you'll notice that I start with the nose. So when I do portraits myself, I use three different methods. One is a method that I've shown to you. Another method is a grid system. And then the other method is actually just starting to draw one of the features. And often it's the nose that I start with because it's quite central to the face. There's a really good distinctive shape to it. And then you can build the other features around that. So whether it's the mouth below it or the eyes above it. So look closely at the video. There's uh, the, uh, the demonstration that I've done. There's also some writing along the way just to explain what I'm doing as I've gone along. And all I can say is really take your time with it. There are some resources up on Show My Homework which allows you to look again at the shapes of features. But don't use those too closely because you should be looking at the image you're focusing on. Whether it's yourself in a mirror yourself on a phone or a photograph that you might have printed out or one that you've been working from from last week or one of the four images that I've given to you because everyone's features are different. Everyone's nose, eyes, ears, mouth are different. What I also want you to do is think about the shape of the head. So that's one thing that you normally leave to a bit later on into the drawing because once you've got the features in place, you know the proportions are all accurate, then you can actually create the shape a little bit more to how you need to. So I've got very much an egghead. The shape of my face is very distinctive, very obvious, it's quite an easy shape to draw. So just look at that shape closely when you come to the shape of the face and then also think about the ears. How much do the ears stick out? How much of them can you see? Are they pinned back slightly so you only just see a little bit? Those are types of things I want you to look at. Now the work sent in last week was great. Just each week it just gets better and better and there's some really kind of standout pieces that we've seen that Miss Renwick put together on a video that we just wanted to use to celebrate how well you guys are doing. And I know there's plenty more that were really good that we just couldn't fit all of them onto the videos. And then some of you have completed the work almost to a standard where there's not that much more that you'll need to do. So some of the work that I've had in and Miss Renwick's had in, some of you have actually drawn the features in place in more detail than maybe what we'd have recommended to begin with, which is absolutely fine, that's that's perfect, that's that's great. What I want you to do though is go back and check. So before you even think about saying you're finished or adding tone, look back at the features, make sure that the, the distance is right. So when you look back, the gap between your eyes, is it roughly the same shape, same size or width as your nose, or is it the same width as one of your eyes? Just double check that. Look at the position of the lips. Remember I said there was a common mistake early on where the distance between the nose and the mouth was far too big. Just double check that and make sure that that's not the case. And in most cases that, that's, that's been great. And also look at the width of the nose. Make sure it's wide enough. Same with the mouth. Look at the position of the mouth and how it lines up with the centre of your eyes. Sometimes we draw the mouth a little bit too small. But it just sometimes just needs to be wider and fill the face that little bit more. So just go back and check that. If you are someone who has done that and everything looks well and you've checked it, then I will send you personally a video that looks at adding tone. So I don't want to put that up on, on Show My Homework to confuse everybody that you need to do that. So send me or Miss Renwick a message and we'll attach that to the comments section and send you that. So some of you who I already know that applies to, I will send that to you on Monday um, along with this. Um, but the rest of you just send us a message. For those of you who've added tone to your work, because there are some and some outstanding pieces of work, look at the video of tone and just look and see whether you need to add a little bit more depth. So by depth, I mean, are there different shades of, 
the, the grey tones in your picture. So are there some highlights where you might have used a rubber to rub back in? Or if you've gone really heavy with the pencil where it's the darkest part? The darkest part is often sometimes within the centre of the eyes with the pupil, the nostrils, and then obviously your hair if you've got dark coloured hair. Or the image that you're copying from, the person's got really dark hair. So look at those areas specifically. The last thing I want to say is um, a bit more about the quiz actually because I don't think I mentioned enough how well you guys did with the quiz. I thought that was great in terms of more of you were being engaged um, with the quiz. The scores were, were fantastic. In the early stages I was watching quite closely who who were getting 100%. There's quite a lot of you then by then were getting 100% by having two and three goes. There's some of you who maybe didn't score as well as you wanted to and that's fine, it's something that we can just go back and look at again later on down the line. But the key thing is actually, how do you apply the knowledge from the quiz to the work you're currently doing? That's the biggest thing. It's all right if you've got 100% on the test, that's absolutely fantastic. But then we need to see that that understanding is shown through your actual drawing work. Just a reminder, if there's anything that you need from myself or Miss Renwick, just to send us a message through Show My Homework and then we'll get back to you as soon as we can just to give you some advice. I know a lot of you do that and that's great. Um, and make good use of the resources. So I'll leave it there. Enjoy watching the video. I hope it's useful. Take care. See you soon. Adios.